have less than two weeks until Survivor Series. Opportunity rides on the line tonight. Tommaso Ciampa will challenge for the WWE Championship on the 19th, but will Tyler Bate join the fray? If he can defeat the WWE Champion Seth Rollins for a third time tonight, it will become a triple threat in Madison Square Garden at Survivor Series. We welcome you back in the States for Monday Night Raw, Enterprise Center, St. Louis, Missouri, and we kick things off with the WWE Women's Champion, the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley. And Rhea Ripley has not been making a lot of friends since winning that championship back in September. And last week she targeted the woman she defeated back at Clash at the Castle, the man, Becky Lynch. Let's take you back to last week in Becky Lynch's homecoming, Dublin, Ireland, ambushed by the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. This all stemming as rumors speculated around the locker room that Becky Lynch was not done with Rhea Ripley, even after falling short of becoming champion back at Clash at the Castle. Becky Lynch still felt there was payback in mind after Rhea Ripley's previous ambushes leading up to their matchup last month. Rhea Ripley obviously taking those rumors that were speculating to heart and decided to take Becky Lynch into her own hands, ambushing Becky in the middle of Dublin, Ireland last week in an event that was supposed to be a homecoming for the man turned into a nightmare thanks to the Eradicator. Well, the WWE Women's Champion Rhea Ripley doesn't give a damn who she crosses and what bridges she burns as long as the championship is around her waist. But tonight, Rhea Ripley's got her hands full with one of the up-and-comers of the red brand, that being Zia Lee, as we kick things off less than two weeks until Survivor Series here in St. Louis, Missouri. And again, still to come in your main event, the big strong boy Tyler Bate, one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion Seth Rollins. Tyler Bate owes not one, but two pinfall victories over Seth Rollins. And if he can defeat him for a third time tonight, then Tyler Bate will be added to the WWE Championship match at Survivor Series, making it a triple threat between Seth Rollins, Tommaso Ciampa, and Tyler Bate. High stakes, high reward in your main event as we are less than two weeks away from Survivor Series. Live premiere event, 5 p.m. Eastern time, Sunday night, November the 19th, from Madison Square Garden in New York City. Cannot wait to get to the Fall Classic, one of my personal favorite events of the year. As for tonight, Monday Night Raw in St. Louis, Missouri, starting out with a beatdown by this bully of the Judgment Day. Rhea Ripley, of course, winning the... Oh, wait a minute, hold that thought. Going for the early victory here over Zia Lee, and she almost had her. Rhea Ripley, of course, won that WWE Women's Championship back at the SmackDown exclusive live premiere event. Shocking the world back in No Mercy in September, cashing in her Money in the Bank briefcase and leaving with the WWE Women's title. And again, already successfully retaining it over the man, Becky Lynch, but it seems as if those issues are far from over, even in victory for the Eradicator. Remember the lead up to Clash at the Castle, Rhea Ripley ambushed Becky Lynch with a shot over the dome with her very own WWE Women's Championship. That is a shot that Becky Lynch has not forgotten about. She went down swinging in Cardiff, Wales a couple of weeks ago. It was a hell of a fight between the man and the Eradicator. In the end, Rhea Ripley was able to get the job done. But obviously Rhea taking matters into her own hands last week, trying to 100% eradicate the man from Monday Night Raw. You gotta imagine Becky Lynch embarrassed in her hometown last week in an event that was supposed to be a homecoming for Becky. You gotta imagine she is gonna be on Rhea Ripley's tail looking for even more payback that was already previously rumored. It all remains to be seen what is gonna be happening in that developing situation in the women's division. It's Rhea Ripley now getting back into this matchup. But Rosia Lee was showing some signs of life. Rhea goes for the cover. Looking to continue her dominance across Raw, not just yet. This is a huge opportunity for Zia Lee tonight as well. One-on-one -on -one with the WWE Women's Champion. A victory over Rhea Ripley could easily put Zia Lee in line for a future championship opportunity. Or oh, amazing to be seen. Nice counter there. Zia Lee, a lot of strikes in her arsenal. That's what brought her to the dance today. Nice takedown. 
Rhea Ripley may have her back up against the wall as Zia Lee starting to mount some offense here. She's got to keep the foot on the gas pedal, though. It's not too often you see Rhea Ripley take a fall inside the squared circle. And Zia Lee may be about to hand the champion a loss tonight. Off the spin kick. Not just yet, Rhea Ripley survives. As a matter of fact, the last time Rhea Ripley was in defeat was back in August here on Raw. And who defeated her on that night? That was the man, Becky Lynch. In my eyes, it almost seems like a rubber match is needed. Becky Lynch won, Rhea Ripley won. Who is the better woman? That's a whole nother underlining situation regarding the WWE Women's title. Nonetheless, Zia Lee getting sent for a ride face first on the canvas. Rhea Ripley showing no remorse to her opponent here tonight. Now got her in the electric chair position here. Oh, wait a minute. Huge counter by Zia Lee. Nice Hurricane Rana. Zia fighting from underneath tonight, but there's a counter by Rhea and a power bomb. One of the powerhouses of the women's division strutting her stuff inside the squared circle tonight. Zia Lee. Trying to figure out where she was right there as Rhea Ripley now takes advantage and face first off the canvas. And that could be a knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Monday. Into the cover goes Rhea. Oh, but Zia Lee too close to the ropes there, able to grab out and grab the ropes. Rhea Ripley, a rare mistake in her arsenal right there, being so close to a break up by Zia. Ayala again fighting from underneath tonight. Definitely the underdog in this matchup. Trying to get back into this fight as Rhea Ripley almost had her moments ago. Got to utilize those strikes. But they've again brought her to the dance. Rhea Ripley trying to create some distance or just tried to go Zia Lee in that time. Another counter here. Zia not trying to allow a comeback. Big time knee. They gotta stay on the offense. It's Rhea Ripley now. To her feet. Some strikes by Zaya. And the ropes again. A hip toss takes down the stronger competitor. Rhea Ripley springs up, however, and a huge super kick. The WWE Women's Champion as tough as they come. And the beatdown once more commences. The Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Each and every time she is inside the squared circle, looks to send a message to the entire division that nobody is on her level. Maria with another shot and making a dose. Zia Lee might have bit off more than she could chew tonight as Rhea Ripley looking to eradicate Zia Lee with a riptide. Thanks for coming. A great effort by Zia Lee. But the WWE Women's Champion stands a firm atop the division right now. And certainly a message sent to the entire division, especially the man, Becky Lynch. What a win by the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Here is your winner, Rhea. Oh, wait a minute. Rhea. Wait a minute. Rhea Ripley still trying to get to her feet from this fight. Becky Lynch in the ring with a ladder. Oh my goodness! Becky Lynch up in the ante said, You want to fight? I'll give you a war. And now she's got Rhea in the air, and down goes the champion on top of the cold hard steel. Becky Lynch did not come to play games, giving Rhea Ripley a taste of her own medicine tonight. And Rhea Ripley might have fired up this opposing challenger as Becky Lynch is not done in her pursuit of the championship. Coming your way on Sunday night, November the 19th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a live premiere event. It's the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic. The Thanksgiving week tradition. It's WWE Survivor Series. Brought to you by Monday Night Raw and Friday Night Smackdown. And not only is this going to be a night of epic proportions, but it will emanate from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Don't miss Survivor Series, live from MSG on November 19th.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Raw, and a brawl has broken out in the aisleway between the street champ Solo Sokoa and the prize fighter Kevin Owens. You remember what happened seven nights ago? Kevin Owens was pinned in the first matchup in the Deadly Games Eliminator by Sheamus, a match that also featured Solo Sokoa. And the fight continued later on in the night when Solo ambushed Kevin Owens backstage and put him through a table. And now tonight, Kevin Owens out for retribution as Solo Sokoa and the prize fighter brawl in the aisleway here on Monday Night Raw. Things are boiling over here on the red brand as of late. Everybody's taking issue with another. Everybody's in pursuit of championship. Tensions are running at an all-time high on the Road to Survivor Series. Oh my goodness. Kevin Owens, I'm sure, wants payback, but what condition is Kevin Owens in after going through a table and hitting the concrete floor seven nights ago in Dublin, Ireland? I do not even know what to state right now as these two men, we need some help out there to get these men apart between, before they absolutely tear each other to bits on Monday Night Raw. This is what the tension in the Monday Night Raw locker room has boiled to. Every man trying to take out another as Kevin Owens dropping Solo Sokoa on the stage. Well, we, gotta re we gotta restore some order here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as you just saw, Survivor Series, of course, coming your way. Sunday night, November the 19th, a week from Sunday, we are live in Madison Square Garden. And what a night it is gonna be. The WWE Championship will be defended. As of right now, it is a one-on-one -on -one match as Seth Rollins defends against the man who won the Deadly Games Eliminator this past Saturday night in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That was Tommaso Ciampa, but will Tyler Bate be added to the fray? We find out later tonight. Several matches lined up from Friday Night SmackDown as the Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. The CWC winner, Ilya Dragunov, battles the leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar. We'll determine the first ever Women's World Champion on behalf of SmackDown. So far, three superstars have qualified. Candice LeRae, Raquel Rodriguez, Shayna Baszler, who will take the fourth spot in the four-woman elimination contest for the gold. The United States title is on the line. The phenomenal one targeting the American Nightmare. And AJ Styles gets his wish. His desire for championship gold leads him to a date with destiny against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. It is a traditional Survivor Series elimination matchup on behalf of SmackDown. Team Austin Theory versus Team Edge. But who will fill out these teams? For what I understand, we will find out this Friday night on SmackDown. And in the main event, the World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as these two titans of Friday Night's battle. The Ring General Gunther, the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. Survivor Series is shaping up to be one hell of a night in the world's most famous arena a week from Sunday. But as for tonight here at St. Louis, the WWE World Tag Team Champions have arrived on the scene. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Rich Holland, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, Butch! Well, the Bruiserweight Butch in singles competition tonight. Of course, he is coming off a loss to the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes on SmackDown two weeks ago. Of course, those World Tag Team titles, a bridge between both brands, and Butch accepted a U.S. title opportunity by Cody Rhodes. He may have come up short in that matchup, but those two men hot off the heels of defending their titles a few weeks back at Clash at the Castle. But tonight, it's a singles matchup, one-on-one -on -one against the New Day's Xavier Woods. This is going to be one hell of a fight here on Raw. And his opponent accompanied by Kofi Kingston, representing the New Day. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods! Well, the New Day have been reminding everybody just what they are capable of inside the squared circle. Once again, rising the ranks of the tag team division here on Monday Night Raw. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods have really owned the Judgment Day as of late in both singles and tag team victories over Finn Balor and Damian Priest. 
So tonight, Xavier Woods finds himself in a one-on-one -on -one matchup against one half of the world tag team champions, the Bruiserweight Butch, in a matchup that could easily put the New Day at the front of the line to challenge next for championship gold. This should be an exciting matchup, a respectable matchup, which I will say is refreshing to see because there's been so much anarchy on Monday Night Raw. It's going to be nice to see two men just in the love of the sport for the competition battle it out here on the red brand. I cannot believe we just saw moments ago Kevin Owens and Sol Sokoa coming to blows at the top of the stage. I mean, what else is going to happen tonight here on Monday Night Raw? Because here we go, Butch and Xavier Woods one-on-one -on -one representing their tandems. And the Bruiserweight and Ridge Holland, of course, coming off retaining their World Tag Team titles in a great contest against SmackDown's Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde of Legado del Fantasma that, of course, was back in Cardiff, Wales at Clash at the Castle. Meanwhile, as we've been mentioning, the New Day rising the ranks of the Red Brand, really owning the Judgment Day as of late. We've seen Kofi Kingston defeat Damian Priest in singles action. We've seen the New Day pin the Judgment Day in tag team action. Now Xavier Woods one-on-one -on -one with one half of the champions tonight. All it takes is a W. And I think the New Day would have the proclamation to call themselves the number one contenders. All remains to be seen, the Bruiserweight, I'm sure after coming off that loss against Cody Rhodes a few weeks ago, going to be a little bit more extra motivated to get the W here tonight against Woods on Raw. Now Xavier Woods, there's that bulldog he was looking for at the opening of this matchup that Butch denied. However, Woods now scaling the ropes. We're going to go up, up, and down, down with a big time DDT. Xavier Woods, all the tools to get things done tonight. Obviously a decorated tag team superstar throughout his career, but do not take Xavier Woods lightly in singles action. Huge moves that have put Butch up against the wall. Sending him in the corner this time, and Xavier Woods completely turning this match on his head for the bruiser way, and now soaring through the skies. Xavier Woods came to play tonight. Big time crossbody to the outside, and the New Day could be one step closer to calling themselves the number one contenders. Now off the top again with another crossbody. Inside the ropes, into the cover. But Butch gets the shoulder up. Xavier Woods doing well so far, mounting that offense against the Bruiser White. Butch, one of the toughest superstars, not just here on Raw, but in the entire WWE. So keeping your foot on the gas pedal, Definitely should be in the game plan when you're fighting a man like the Bruiser Wade here. Oh, wait a minute. Nice counter by Woods. Small package to get the victory, not just yet. Great job by Xavier Woods to counter out Butch. Could have been going for that reverse suplex. However, Xavier Woods did his homework coming into this matchup tonight. He is fired up. Look at this. Butch is down and out. I'd say it's very interesting to watch Butch as he opened up this matchup hot. Once Xavier Woods has got the momentum, I mean, he has kept it all the way through. Butch has not had an answer. Oh, wait a minute. May have spoken too soon. Maybe the answer is going to a bitter end. No waste in motion. That's one way to come back in the match. Just go straight for the finish into the cover, and that'll do it. Butch knocks off Xavier Woods tonight on Raw. Well, a great effort by Woods, but I think was just caught by surprise with the forearm and then straight to a bitter end by one half of the WWE World Tag Team Champions. What the hell? What the hell? Wait a minute! The Judgment Day ambushing the Brawling Brutes with steel chairs! I thought I heard a chair shot in the replay! Well, what the hell? The Judgment Day, who have been nothing but losers as of late, Oh, what do they think? They're at the front of the line, ambushing the brawling brutes. Can we get some order here on Monday Night Raw? Coming your way on Sunday night, November the 19th, at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a live premiere event. It's the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic, the Thanksgiving week tradition. It's WWE Survivor Series. Brought to you by Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. And not only is this going to be a night of epic proportions, but it will emanate from the world's most famous arena, 
Madison Square Garden in New York City. Don't miss Survivor Series live from MSG on November 19th. Well, it has been a hot and heavy night to say the least as the road to Survivor Series continues here in St. Louis. But Carmelo Hayes back in action tonight. And from what we understand, Carmelo's opponent will be the trade compensation for Monday Night Raw after Ilya Dragunov won the Cruiserweight Classic and was sent to Friday Night SmackDown. So who is here on the red brand to challenge Melo? Well, it's time to find out as Monday Night Raw continues. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Trick Williams from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Well, Carmelo Hayes has certainly raised his stock as of late on Monday Night Raw. It may have been unsuccessful in the end, but certainly turned some heads in his trilogy of fights with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Carmelo Hayes did own a victory that kicked off that trilogy, a bite with the feet on the ropes that defeated Bobby Lashley, but nonetheless, Melo gave it his all in three epic clashes against Lashley. And again, may have come up short, but you gotta wonder, after Melo's rock, or excuse me, as Melo's stock continues to rise here on Raw, what is gonna be next for that young man here on the red brand? Well, as we know tonight, Melo's got a former SmackDown superstar who is it going to be? Oh, wait a minute. Well, things just got very interesting as the 619 is here on Raw. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio. Well, the Mysterio family has seen an unceremoniously breakup. The father, Rey Mysterio, remains on SmackDown, but the son has been traded to Monday Night Raw. Dominic Mysterio here on his own, marching down the aisle here on Monday nights. Well, this is very interesting. A great surprise and a great addition to the Monday Night Raw roster is the young man, Dominic Mysterio, who has seen success here on the Red Brand before. Him and Rey Mysterio before the draft last year. Former World Tag Team Champions right here on Monday nights. But Dominic back here on his own tonight as the trade compensation for Ilya Dragunov being sent to SmackDown. And Dominic now set to go one-on-one -on -one with Carmelo Hayes. Well, this should be a great matchup of competition and agility inside the squared circle. And how does Melo now put together a quick blueprint inside his head for Dominic Mysterio. Here we go, all remains to be seen, and Melo! Well, looks like the game plan has come hot out of the gate and try to take Dominic off whatever plan he had in mind. Gotta imagine Dominic had a little bit more of a heads up that he was gonna be fighting Carmelo Hayes, opposed to the other way around. Now Dominic, with that time to strategize, will that come into play as Melo may be taken off guard right now as Dominic trying to come out hot. The newest superstar to Monday Night Raw, former World Tag Team Champion in Dominic Mysterio. And remember back in the Cruiserweight Classic first round, Dominic Mysterio defeated his own father, Ray, to move on in that tournament. Of course, was knocked out later on, but Dominic turned some heads on that night a few months ago, and now has a chance to truly break out on his own here on Monday Night Raw. Got a feeling it's gonna be great for that young man, but will it start hot tonight with a victory over Melo? Or will Melo be able to get back into this thing? Because right now it's not looking too good as Carmelo Hayes set off the apron and is on roller skates on outside just trying to get his wits about him. Dominic Mysterio's wheels are turning. And now Dominic over the top rope! Somersault plancha taking down Melo. Well, maybe tonight it's going to be all about Mysterio don't miss here on Raw. Melo came out hot with that pump kick, but ever since then, Dominic Mysterio has turned the tides of this matchup. And again, Dominic had that little bit of extra time to strategize. I'm sure had a couple of days before he realized that he was going to be traded to Monday Night Raw. 
Wait a minute, that's one thing that Dominic couldn't have prepared for, and that's the numbers game as Trick Williams taking Mello's eye off the ball. Now into the cover. Only a one count there, but Dominic Mysterio may find himself in a two-on-one situation here in his Monday Night Raw return tonight. And you notice MVP not at ringside with Mello and Trick Williams tonight. I gotta wonder if there's any situation brewing there as Carmelo Hayes may have come up short against the man that MVP had a lot of history with and Bobby Lashley. I mean, not something we've heard too much about. Don't let us speculate, but maybe the MVP is moving on from Carmelo Hayes. All remains to be seen. Trick Williams, however, the OG with Melo out there. It's Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams turning Dominic Mysterio's momentum on its head. There's a nice counter by Dom. And a springboard may have gotten his feet trapped on the ropes and a crash and burn. Melo nowhere to be found. Dominic showed some signs of life, but Carmelo Hayes controlling this matchup and has slowed down the pace for Dominic Mysterio. Especially Carmelo Hayes coming to this matchup. You know he's got to be hungry for victory after coming up short in the trilogy against Bobby Lashley. Wow, what a maneuver! Into the cover. Will that do it tonight? Not just yet, Dominic Mysterio still into this thing, but what a springboard leg drop by Melo. Whether you like his attitude or not, certainly one of the reasons Melo's gonna be a future main eventer here on Monday Night Raw. But Dominic wants the same spot. Going for the 619. Oh, wait a minute, Trick Williams on the apron. Oh, come on now, Mysterio might have just got screwed. Dominic was going for the 619. Trick Williams on the apron, causing a distraction. Oh, wait a minute. Back and forth, the pendulum momentum starts to swing. Dominic almost stealing the victory that time. And now look at this, going for Code Red. Here are the Red Brand. Not just yet. And a great matchup so far between these two young superstars. Going to be two future main event stars here on Monday Night Raw. Dominic Mysterio thought he had the kill that time. Was going for the 619 to no avail. And now tries to find that precarious situation again as Melo goes to the top. Oh, wait a minute. Slam dunk by Melo. Into the cover. Oh, Dominic Mysterio getting the shoulder up at 2.9. Well, that shows the heart of that young man. Carmelo Hayes soaring in the air. Big time leg drop to the back of the dome. However, Dominic Mysterio still in this matchup. Oh, some great intestinal fortitude shown by Dominic Mysterio there. Dare I say, how much is left in that young man? He's gonna keep swinging until he hears a bell. But Carmelo Hayes may have done enough damage to get at least one step closer to finalizing this contest. A great physical matchup on hand, and what a night it has been here on Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Owens, Solo Sokoa, that brawl earlier tonight. The Judgment Day laying out the brawling brutes with those steel chairs moments ago. And dare I say, it's been an extreme night here on Monday Night Raw. What about Becky Lynch using that ladder as some payback against Rhea Ripley's attack last week? We've got to gain some order. There's been nothing but disorder each and every Monday night as of late. Road to Survivor Series has been hot and heavy as this matchup continues. Dominic taking Mello to the outside. Dominic's wheels continue to spin. What has he got in mind as Mello on spaghetti legs? Springboard, big time dive to the outside. Mello down and out once more as the crashing pad to Dominic Mysterio. Dominic's looking good and his return to Monday Night Raw, but can he get the one, two, and most importantly, the three count? Now it's Mello, all dazed, and once again, Dominic's trying to go for a six, a one, and this time he hits the nine. Opposite side of the ring, no Trick Williams to be found, and a frog splash by Dominic. Into the cover. And what a victory as Dominic Mysterio rejoins the Monday Night Raw roster. Well, Carmelo Hayes is not going to be happy about that. 
short notice. Had to put together a game plan in the spur of the moment and think on his feet. Unfortunately, Dominic Mysterio just was the better man on this occasion. Here is your winner, Dominic Mysterio. Well, Dominic Mysterio officially traded to Monday Night Raw, and I cannot wait to see what is going to be in that young man's future each and every Monday night here on the Red Brand. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what the hell is going on backstage now? Solo Sokoa and Sami Zayn. Oh, Solo Sokoa trying to stick it to Kevin Owens, ambushing his best friend. A sneak attack, I would bet. This is just getting absolutely ridiculous. If anybody's been causing more anarchy than anyone else, it's that damn street champ, Sol Sokoa, Bobby Lashley, Kevin Owens, and now Sami Zayn. Somebody put that man in handcuffs and get him out the damn arena. Well, as the Road to Survivor Series continues, we are signed for a big time main event next week. Tommaso Ciampa will challenge for the WWE Championship at Survivor Series, but next week on Raw, he teams with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, who's got issues with both men opposing him in the WWE Champion Seth Rollins and the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross still itching about losses to both Ciampa and Sheamus, but well, ladies and gentlemen, we can officially announce an all-star collision has been signed for Survivor Series. Traditional elimination affair. Team Carrying Cross consisting of Cross, Solo Sokoa, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest taking on the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, the World Tag Team Champions Butch and Ridge Holland, and Kevin Owens. All these Raw All-Stars collide four on four, November the 19th. And also signed for Madison Square Garden. Becky Lynch gets one more run around with the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. The women's championship will be on the line. It'll be contested under the rules of Extreme Rules. What a matchup that's going to be a week from Sunday at Survivor Series. Well, certainly an interesting situation in that traditional Survivor Series elimination match from Raw. Karrion and Cross will lead a team. Sheamus will lead a team. And all these men who have got issues with each other, hopefully we can settle the score in the world's most famous arena. But as for tonight, in St. Louis, Missouri, it is main event time. And it is a main event that'll directly impact the WWE Championship match, win, lose, or draw at Survivor Series. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Seth Rollins in the lead up to Clash at the Castle meant Tyler Bate not once, but twice. First in a singles matchup, and then on the final Raw before Cardiff Wales in a tag team affair. And both times around, the big strong boy just had the number of the visionary. Tyler Bate, fair and square, pins Seth Rollins' shoulders to the canvas. One, two, and three. And you may be asking yourself, well, isn't that enough for Tyler Bate to challenge for the WWE Championship? And to some eyes, it may. But of course, Tyler Bate falling short in his pursuit of the Intercontinental title against LA Knight in Cardiff, Wales. So if Tyler Bate wants to take on Seth Rollins, he's got to get the job done once more. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Of course, this past Saturday night in Milwaukee, Saturday night's main event, what a great show it was. We saw the conclusion to last week's Deadly Game Eliminator. It featured six superstars of Monday Night Raw, and of course it all came down to Sheamus and Tommaso Ciampa, who went to war with each other just 48 hours ago, and in the end, Tommaso Ciampa defeating Sheamus and proclaiming his spot as at least one of the challengers for the WWE Championship at Survivor Series. It has become such a complicated situation with everybody gunning for Rollins. And remember, it was supposed to be Seth Rollins defending the WWE title against the almighty Bobby Lashley at Survivor Series and because of some fractured ribs after his match with Brock Lesnar and, of course, an ambush by who else but Solo Sokoa putting Bobby Lashley on the shelf for the foreseeable future. 
So it has led to these events over the last couple of weeks. Seth Rollins knows he will meet Tommaso Ciampa, but will Tyler Bate be there as well? Will it be one-on-one -on -one or a triple threat matchup? That is what this main event will give us. All remains to be seen, but we are underway. Tyler Bate, Seth Rollins, one-on-one -on -one with a Survivor Series opportunity on the line. And you gotta imagine Tyler Bate doing what we expected, coming out swinging and trying to throw Seth Rollins off his game in the early going of this match. Opportunities like this do not come around every day. Tyler Bate did it before, pinning Seth Rollins. He did it again in the tag team matchup, but can he get it done where it matters most and matters more than ever tonight? Obviously, it will not be an easy task for Tyler Bate if he can make his way to Survivor Series with Seth Rollins and the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa for a triple threat matchup, but you know the big strong boy is going to give it all he's got if he makes it to the world's most famous arena. We cannot overlook the WWE Champion Seth Rollins because outside of those losses to Tyler Bate, Seth Rollins has been pretty dominant at the top of Monday Night Raw. And Rollins days on the outside and Tyler Bate with a tope suicida. Bate has not given Rollins a moment to breathe since the bell rang in this match. And you gotta admire the strategy of the big strong boy. Confident in his abilities, knows he's got it done before, and willing to throw anything in the kitchen sink at the champion tonight to make it a triple threat matchup a week from Sunday. Yeah. What about all the news we just found out about moments ago? Regardless of the matchup, or I should say regardless of the result of this matchup, whether Tyler Bate makes his way to Survivor Series or not, Seth Rollins, a part of a big tag team main event next week on Raw. He will team with the Harbinger of Doom, Carry and Cross as they take on the Celtic Warrior Sheamus who Rollins is hot off the heels of multiple battles with and of course the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. Well that's next week on Raw but tonight Seth Rollins is going for an amusement park ride around around the ring he goes and Tyler Bate looking to knock out the WWE Champion and possibly knock out himself in the process and Bate going for the cover Days confused, trying to catch the champion off guard, not just yet. What about the matchup that was just signed moments ago as well for a week from Sunday? Some of the big egos of Monday Night Raw set to collide. A traditional Survivor Series elimination match. One of my favorite parts about the Fall Classic event. Karrion Cross will lead a team against Sheamus' team. A little reminder about the history between Karrion Cross and Sheamus. They have had multiple battles throughout this year on Monday Night Raw, and they have traded victories each and every time. But last time they met inside the squared circle, most recently, about a month and change ago on Raw, Karrion Cross was the final man that Seth Rollins threw at Sheamus in a gauntlet matchup. And Karrion Cross beat the hell out of Sheamus, busting him wide open inside the squared circle, but ultimately Sheamus got the victory. And that is a loss that Karrion Cross has not been happy about. One of several recent losses for the Harbinger of Doom that have really just detached his momentum from the train that it was on. Karrion Cross. Not forgetting about that loss with all the tensions that have been rising high on Monday Night Raw as of late. Cross to lead a team, Sheamus to lead a team. And it's going to be an all-out war in Madison Square Garden. It'll be Karrion Cross, the street champ, Solo Sokoa, and the Judgment Day, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the former World Tag Team Champions, will take on Sheamus, the prize fighter Kevin Owens, and the current World Tag Team Champions, Butch and Ridge Holland. So many overlapping stories between all those superstars. It'll come to a head a week from Sunday at Madison Square Garden. But as for tonight, Tyler Bates' chances may have just gone up and smoked off that knee, but not just yet. Discus knee. I thought that was going to be a knockout blow, but Tyler is still in this contest. Seth Rollins cannot be happy about the recent events on Raw. First, he thought he was going to get Bobby Lashley. Well, that's already a complicated situation to deal with. Thought he was going to get Lashley at Survivor Series. Then turns out Lashley's on the shelf. Then six Raw superstars get an opportunity. Tommaso Ciampa is the man to survive. But then Tyler Bate rearing around the corner. Wants his opportunity. And Rollins looking to put Bates' chances up in smoke tonight. Or maybe we see, wait a minute, Tyler Bate. Trying to steal the victory, almost had him. Close call by the big strong boy. Not able to capitalize as Rollins takes him off his feet again. 
Tyler has got to fight like there is no tomorrow tonight. His back is up against the wall. He is the underdog regardless of the previous victories because at the end of the day, he's in there with the WWE Champion who's looking for the kill. Frog Splash! Nobody home! Tyler Bate has got to get back into this matchup after Rollins controlled the last few minutes, hoisting the champion in the air. But what does Bate have in mind next? They don't call him the big strong boy for no reason. Muscling up the chip field with a superplex and down to the canvas he goes. And Bate not going for the cover just yet. What has he got in mind? Scaling the ropes. Could be going for the move that pinned Rollins upwards of a month ago. What a corkscrew. He's going to do it. Bates going to the garden. Not just yet. Rollins is still into it. A close call there. That is the same corkscrew off the top that Tyler Bate pinned Seth Rollins with just over a month ago here on Monday Night Raw. Oh man, Rollins trying to get back into this now. A sense of urgency out of the champion as Tyler Bate was starting to mount some momentum. High stakes, high reward here in the main event. Will Seth Rollins keep it a one-on-one -on -one match with Tommaso Ciampa a week from Sunday in the Garden? Will Tyler Bate make it a triple threat for the WWE Championship? Back and forth, a pendulum momentum swings. My goodness! Not even waiting for Rollins to get to his feet. Tyler Bate throwing caution in the win and absolutely squashing Rollins at ringside. Oh, wait a minute. Tyler Bate looking up the ante. Trying to clear off the announce table now. Rollins trying to avoid disaster wants no parts of whatever Bate had in mind that time. But clearly Tyler Bate is willing to do any means necessary to make his way to the world's most famous arena. Out of the ring, the champion goes again. All Tyler Bate needs is a victory tonight. It could come by count out if he so wishes. Rollins to his feet, Tyler looking for the Acai Moonsault, but nobody home. Rib cage first, down to the floor of the Enterprise Center here in St. Louis, Missouri. And Tyler Bate, all kinds of been hurt at ringside. Seth Rollins would be happy with a count out here. Oh, wait a minute, don't take your eye off the ball. Again, the momentum back and forth of the suplex in the outside. These two men leaving it all inside the ring in hopes of either going to Survivor Series one-on-one -on -one or a triple threat. The desire of the champion and possible challenger tonight riding at an all-time high. Move for move, shot for shot. This very well may come down to a test of endurance and who gets the final blow. Oh my goodness, into the barricade again. Rollins just beating down on Tyler Bate at ringside. Rollins into the ring, Tyler Bate gonna meet him there. Tyler Bate, schoolboy, to go to Survivor Series, not just yet. And Tyler Bate throwing out maneuvers that we have not seen in his first two altercations with Rollins. Trying to throw the champion off his game. Back and forth again. Tyler Bate will not stay down. Seth Rollins will not stay down. Who is going to get the victory tonight? This just shows you how much the WWE Championship means to every superstar on the Monday Night Raw roster. Taking all the chaos and anarchy as of late into account. It's all resulting in everybody wanting their opportunity. Tyler scales the ropes again, and a cross spider to the outside. Throwing caution in the wind, soaring through the skies of St. Louis. And now, oh, wait a minute, Tyler Bate has got his eyes on the announce table, and the WWE Champion literally with his back up against the wall. This is not good for Rawls. Oh, wait a minute, Rawls trying to avoid disaster. That was a much needed counter by the Champion who's starting to wreak some havoc. On the big strong boy. Tyler Bate. He's got to get back into this matchup. Cannot allow Rollins to start stacking up offense. Tyler was hot in the early going. Rollins took control. Bate took it back. And the momentum has shifted back and forth ever since. 
Rollins turning the momentum on its head on the outside of the ring. Bank back inside the squared circle. And Rollins now going for the curb stomp. Dead center of the canvas. Into the cover goes the champion. And it will remain a singles matchup at Survivor Series as Tyler Bates' opportunity goes up in smoke. Well, a great effort by the big strong boy tonight. Fought till the very end, but not many people are able to survive. A vicious curb stomp by the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. What a matchup tonight in St. Louis. What is going to come your way a week from Sunday? The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. WWE Championship is on the line as Rollins defends one-on-one -on -one against... Oh, wait a minute! Against the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa, who is in St. Louis. He's in the Enterprise Center, and he's sending a message to the WWE Champion. Tommaso Ciampa arriving on the scene and telling Seth Rollins he is coming for his title a week from Sunday. Ciampa going for a second fairy tale ending. The WWE Champion Seth Rollins has got a target on his back the size of Eagles and everybody on Monday Night Raw is gunning for the championship gold. However, Tommaso Ciampa is the man who proclaims himself the number one contender. I could have been going for a second fairy tale ending. Rollins. This thing's about to break down into a brawl. Wait a minute, Ciampa going for an air raid crash. Ciampa looking to send a message, and he does just that, eradicating Rollins from the squared circle. Are we looking? at the man who will leave Survivor Series as the WWE Champion. We find out a week from Sunday, live in Madison Square Garden. Game pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, if you hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.